This is video 3 in the Audacity 220 series. What you see on screen is the pull stretch effect. Now I wanted to make these a lot um, of fun so this is good fun to play around with or start thinking about ambient sounds in your audio. So let me play something that's on screen that you'll recognize immediately then I'll apply the pull stretch effect. So first of all let's play it. <laughs> clearly see that there's a vibration tone for a mobile phone. Now look, if we go up to, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to select the second one and I'm going to affect to pull stretch down here and it says stretch factor 10, time resolution 0 0.25. We want to have fun, so don't play too much attention to the numbers, but if you want to know what the pull stretch effect is, then we can have a little look in the help and I'll just try to explain it. This sets how much longer the processed sound will be relative to the original for example. Yeah. The best thing is to do this and to show you. There is a nice help page so just to click OK. Now I've done it twice because this is incredible when you hear it. Now I'm going to play it from the beginning. What you're going to hear is the first vibration tone for the mobile phone and then what it's done with pull stretch and I'm quite kind of like smiling while I'm talking here because it's pretty freaky and fun right watch or listen rather quite incredible to hear that sort of thing. So that was one example and what I'm going to do is just come down and you can record anything and I've done something the most simple simplistic thing with my own voice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click over to solo here because I've just got two tracks and then I'm going to shrink this one down just because I, I want it out the way and then I bring this down and I said have some fun go back to the beginning and play. No. Yes. No. Yes. Can't get any more sort of simple than that really, can you? To say yes and no. So if I just play it again, let's uh, let's try this one here. Right, watch. Listen. No. Right, that was a no, wasn't it? So if we go and select just the no, right, no. Then we do effect pull stretch. Same thing. Okay, it's too short. Okay, fair enough. So what what it wants sometimes is let's just do the whole lot effect, pull stretch, okay. Yeah, now it's applying the whole stretch factor. Maybe there is a minimum amount of clip. I told you I can ed ed audio edit it, but not be a super expert in it, but we are learning together. Now, the button at the top here, I'm going to click fit the project to the window, and that's what it is. Let's just go back and play. I don't know what this is going to sound like. Let's, let's listen. That was a no. A yes is coming up now. As we wait, here it comes. Yes. Wow, we've got very much a um, se snaky sound there. So this should be a no. Listen. That was a no, and then one more yes, and then we finish this video. What could we use the pull stretch effect? Here we go, here we go. I don't know about you, but we could go around the house looking for stuff to record and then see how it sounds in a pull stretch. Um, let's have one more play of the other one. I'm going to just click solo to finish it off. Just sounds like springs, train on tracks, whatever it sounds like. Pretty awesome. So that one um, was video again of how to use Audacity 220 with the pull stretch effect. If you have a go at this, have some fun, please, please let me know because I'd be um, really excited to see and listen to what you have done. Okay, goodbye.